Greetings, beautiful creatures. My name is Angel Nightmare. <laughs> Well, as you guys know, one of my prolific goals is to have one of the largest video game collections in the world. Complete collections. Over the weekend, while I was in Georgia, I did some shopping and a little bit of game chasing. For those of you that follow me on Instagram, you guys know that I got Fallout 4 the day that it came out. This game, and I believe two other games that I got, are the only ones I paid full price for. I got Until Dawn and family fun pack for the ps4 at best buys black friday deal i believe they were 20 dollars each or 25 each they retail for 60 which is good i also got splatoon and super smash brothers for the wii u and uh these games were both on sale for 35 and they both retail for 60 which is really good. And these are the other two games that I got paid full price for. I believe this one was 50 and this one was 40. I decided I need to start buying more Wii U games. I had bought my Wii U almost a year ago and I literally only have two games on it, uh, Zombie U and Super Mario 3D World. So I barely have played my Wii U since I bought it. So I need to start buying more titles. Also, Nintendo as opposed to other game companies, they don't really lower their prices as time goes on. They just stop printing them, and uh, which is why a lot of Nintendo games usually go up in price, which is crazy. Pikmin 3, been looking for this game for about a month when I found out that it was out of print, and not only was it out of print, it was starting to get harder to find. The cheapest eBay price for this, I think, is like $80, and sometimes it... It fluctuates, so it might be more or less than that. GameStops have been selling out of these, and you can probably not find this in your town. Uh, I couldn't find it at any of the GameStops here in Mississippi. I couldn't find it at any of the GameStops I found in Georgia while I was out of town. On my way back, I stopped in Oxford, Alabama, and I ended up finding this copy. It was $54 with my Power Up Rewards card, which is... Uh, probably is about as cheap as I'm going to find this game. So I had to have this in my collection before it was getting harder and harder to find it. And with that came the buy two, get one free sale. I got this game. I believe it was 35 and Bayonetta 2 came free with that sale. It has Bayonetta 1 and 2. Sonic All-Star Racing, which is apparently a really fun kart racing game. A lot of people say they enjoy this better than Mario Kart 8. So I decided to give it a shot. It's twenty dollars, and I'll probably play it either sometime today or tomorrow, and try it out. And these three games I got from Black Friday's uh, buy two get one free sale. Journey is a really good game. I've been seeing a lot of people on YouTube play a little bit of it. I didn't watch too much of it because I I don't like really watching gameplay videos of games that I plan on playing because I want to experience it for myself. I got this game it was an old PlayStation Three game. And I got Heavy Rain, which is a game I've been wanting to play. Um, I really like story-oriented games. The only one that I've beaten was uh, Indigo Prophecy, which I think is made by the same people who did Heavy Rain. And I had the game as a child, and I, I like the story-oriented like stuff in it. And how you can kind of choose your own destiny and your fate. Like, it's really... I really like stuff like that. Dr. Mario on the NES. Wave Race 64. And... Risk and Animaniacs, and these are complete in box. These are the first. These are the first complete in box Genesis games that I own. I think I'm gonna try to go on eBay and find boxes and manuals for the Genesis games that I already have. See if I can just find them at a yard sale or something cheaper, and just sell the loose cartridges. It should be pretty easy to find Genesis complete in box because the box is made out of a hard plastic. Not so much Nintendo 64 and Super Nintendo because the boxes were made out of cardboard and a lot of people usually just throw them away, which really sucks. But I will be able to find those eventually, but I'm not worried about getting those complete in box until after I have the bulk of my collection completed. I believe Dr. Mario and Wave Race 64 were the games that came free with the buy two, get one free. And none of these games cost more than $15. I typically try to stay under $15 when I'm buying old games, unless it's just something that's really, really, really hard to come across and that I really, really want. All of these games, this was a part of a 10 for 20 sale at the same place, Max Games, and I want to say Woodstock, Georgia. But um, they're really awesome. They also have an eBay store with a lot of cool stuff that I'm going to check out. So a lot of these are common games. Some of them are worth a lot more than what I paid for them. 10 for 20, which is $2 each 
per game. Most of these are complete in box, and I didn't find out until now that the Doom 3 has the Platinum Hits version, and I'm going to replace that because that bothers the heck out of me. I One thing you'll know about me is that I don't like the greatest hits or best sellers or platinum hits copies or arts of games like i want to try to get the original art and original case for it um but it comes with the manual and it comes with the original you know label i just probably will find like a a game store that has like a disc only of this and buy it and then sell sell it at the store lord of the rings return of the kings on xbox and playstation 2 this one is complete in box this one is missing the manual it was kind of funny when I bought these. The guy was like, um, is this right? And I was like, yeah, I'm a collector. And he was like, oh, okay, that's pretty cool. Then we started talking about video game stuff. This game is complete in box, but the original art has water damage. So maybe one day in the future, I will replace this with a better copy. But I'm not really worried about it. I got Autoworld. I've always wanted this game as a child, and I had the Xbox. Since the day that it came out, like when I was really young, I believe I was 10 or 11 uh, when the Xbox first came out. And I would see the commercials of this and I've always wanted it, but I never got it until now. So now I can actually play it. Enter the Matrix. I played this game when I was little and I liked it. And maybe going back to it now as compared to what gaming is like now, I'll probably be like, man, this game is garbage. I got this copy because it has, it actually has the holographic art. I don't know if you can see that very well. Like it has the holographic uh, art with the Japanese symbols and numbers and stuff. But um, it does not, unfortunately, have the original Xbox case. This is just a DVD case. But I can get the blank Xbox cases from like a local game store. They always have a bunch of extras. Sudeki, I played this game when I was a freshman. Somebody let me borrow it, but uh, I ended up returning it to him before I ever finished it. So I might go back and try to play this game one day. Dynasty Warriors 4, Lord of the Rings, The Third Age, and Naruto Uzumaki Chronicles, which is supposed to be a very, very hard game to beat, but I'm gonna try it out for myself. It does not, unfortunately, also come with the manual either. And the tabs are broken in this PlayStation case, but luckily I have extra blank cases and I will replace that. I believe my collection was at 195 the last time. We did a video game haul video, and now it's at uh, 224. I'm using the app RF Generation to catalog my games. It lets me know like what I have and what I don't have on what console and all that good jazz. Well, anyway, thanks for watching, and thanks for joining my journey. Oh, I also completed uh, one of my gear goals, and that was double my gaming collection. Uh, at the beginning of January, I had about 110 games or so, and now I have 224. So I doubled it and surpassed that goal just by a little bit. It feels good to accomplish stuff. Next year, I'm going to try to double it again, which means December of next year, I should have 440 or more games. Stick around and see if I ever make it to that point. And uh, thanks for watching. Be sure to post in the comments. Let me know if you guys know of any resources where I can get old retro games for really reasonable prices, because I'm always looking for other ways to find games and stuff. Bye.